Hi, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. Now you should know everything about light and, uh, and you know that light behaves sometimes as a wave, sometimes as a particle. So I will tell you about the Doppler effect, which is an, e an effect associated with all sorts of waves, such as sound waves, for example. So I'll demonstrate with sound waves to start with. I'll turn on this really annoying siren and you should see that if I don't move that siren, you hear the same annoying beep over and over again. If I, if I put it in motion, when the siren is approaching, approaching you or receding from you, you'll notice a difference in frequency, a difference, a difference in pitch. So let's see that. This is the annoying sound. sound. It's not changing, right? So now I'll make it so that it goes away and towards. If you heard that, ooh. So you, you probably heard that. And did you also notice that when I made it go faster and faster and faster, it became more and more annoying? The difference was increased? I hope you were able to notice that. If you didn't, maybe you can rewind and check it out because when it goes faster, you can see a bigger difference in frequency, a bigger difference in pitch. So this effect occurs of, um, with anything that behaves like a wave. Sound is a wave. Light is also on wave. So if we go to our first slide, this is an example of an object that it's emitting a wave in all directions. We're seeing it from above. It's emitting waves in all possible directions. But it's not only emitting, it's moving in this direction here. It's moving to your left. Well, because it's moving to your left, it's compressing the waves this way. And it's stretching the waves behind it that's leaving behind. The wavelengths behind are being increased the light is being redshifted. The light is becoming redder than it was originally. Well, the light in this side or the waves in, those, in this side are getting smaller wavelengths, higher frequencies. In the case of light, they are becoming bluer. This, this slide may do it for you, may not do it for you. So I have another analogy here. It's just an analogy because this is really not a wave. But it looks pretty much like a wave, right? It looks like a sinusoidal thing. So let's imagine that there is a, a little guy here screaming for help, all right? So he screams, help! And the help is going in all directions. So the same pitch is coming this direction, the same wavelength and the same, that it is going that direction. Now, if the person decides to run in my way this way, the pitch here has increased, the wavelength here has decreased, while the one in the back has been stretched out, has increased. So this is the Doppler effect. And it happens, not only, it happens, as I said before, to all kinds of light. Another example here with, with sound we have in as another picture. So let's imagine two cars, two cars driving in a highway. All right. They are both driving in the same directions, and they are both police cars, as you can see here. So they are both emitting a sound. They are searching for a thief for something. So if there is a microphone here, it will observe that the frequency of sound emitted by the yellow car will become higher. The wavelength of those sound waves will become smaller. And the green car that's moving away from this microphone, the wavelength will become stretched. The frequency will become smaller. It's good to use sound to visualize because that's something you experience every day. But it happens with light too. And we know so much about astronomy uh, by studying the Doppler effect of objects that are far away from us. So for example, this other picture here shows the spectrum in the optical and some lines, some absorption lines of the spectrum of a certain object. So let's say we observe, we observe atomic elements in a laboratory. Those are the lines that we'll see. And let's say we point our telescope to, 
to somewhere else and those lines are all shifted to where they should be. See this line here that it's right on the yellow? It's almost that orange now, right? The light that it's at the dark blue, it's at the very light blue. They have, they have changed. This change tells me about the velocity of the object. Just as when I was spinning the siren faster and faster and faster, there was a greater change in the frequency. As an object moves away from me or towards me faster and faster, I see an increased shift here. So by observing the Doppler shift, I can say if an object is approaching me, all the lines will be moved to the left, to the blue, or if an object is receding from me, all the lines then will be shifted to the right, to redder colors. It doesn't mean that the light will become red, it just means that it will go to redder wavelengths. Notice that here it's on yellow, it continues to be yellow, is just a little bit closer to the redder part of the spectrum. Conversely, if it was moving towards us, all the shifts would be in the opposite direction, therefore they would be moving towards the blue part of the spectrum. So Doppler effect tells us about the velocity of objects, stars, galaxies, all the objects that are out there are moving with respect to us. That's why the Doppler effect is so important. And I hope this helped.